Welcome back to The Space, a mindfulness podcast for everyone. How much time do you spend thinking about the worst case scenario? How much time do you spend thinking about the best? It's probably a lot less, isn't it? You can blame our primitive brains for this. We've been wired to expect the worst so that nothing surprises us. Your brain is like a smoke detector. When it goes off, we have a chance to decide, is it the house on fire or have I just burnt my toast? Where does your brain usually go? The good news is we can ease our own panic and it comes down to best case preparation. Think of a situation that you're worrying about right now. Are you spending hours upon hours thinking of worst-case scenarios? Probably, we think it's a necessity to protect ourselves. What could be the best outcome of the situation? Dwell on this for a few sweet moments. What is the best thing that could happen? What would be the perfect outcome? How would you feel if it happened? Right now, the voice of doubt is probably creeping in. Don't think that. You're only going to be crushed and disappointed. Let's remind that voice that you've spent a hundred hours dreaming about disaster. If you're going to imagine a future... Why not level the playing field and dwell on the possible positives? You don't have to go worst case cold turkey. Just try to bring it into balance. For every worst case worry, imagine a better, brighter alternative. That's how we can rewire our brain. Space out.